What's up, everybody? It's your guy, Z Fly. That's right. I'm here again at the Yotel Hotel. No other. Ready for the runway, the real way. And as y'all see on the side of me, I got my boy Nick. Now, he is one of the finalists for my upcoming talk show, Keeping It Real Hot and Fresh. So he's here. Right now, we're doing the red carpet for Hot in the Mitts right here at the Yotel Hotel. So I want y'all to, you know what I'm saying, get, get, get to know Nick a little bit. So, Nick, what's going on? Nothing. I'm just ready to interview some models. And I'm loving New York. I just moved here. And are you ready? I'm ready. I mean, you know, it's all about fashion. You know, we, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely fashion be loud. So, what kind of um like fashion are you looking to see on the red carpet today? A little bit of everything. A little bit of casual. A little bit of bougie. Um, I always love a good shoe. So, we'll see. What are you looking? For? I'm looking for definitely some new trends. Something that you know, like I can add to my, you know, to my closet, right. to my ensemble. So, hopefully, they'll, you know, they'll deliver today. Cause, cause if they don't. It'll be a pass, right. you know. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so y'all definitely keep it locked because me and um, Nick is on the red carpet, and we are going to be interviewing these people, these designers today, these models. So y'all know what to Give do. Us some inspiration. <laughs> so <laughs> runway the runway, right? Here we go. Y'all keep it locked. Shula, thank you so much for this because I mean you have really created so much. Right now we have Miss Angelina, designer, on the side of us. I have my boy Nick with me. Miss Angelina, we saw your line. You look beautiful. Now, first of all, tell us what are you wearing? I'm not wearing Angelina because uh -huh. I don't need to wear myself every day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. You look very beautiful. Let us know about your line. My line, Casa de Angelina, which means um, House of Angelina. I was born in Kevard Islands, mm -hmm. came Cabo Verde, Kevard Islands. Where that's at? Ooh, <laughs> North. No, let, let's school it. <laughs> we, we're going to school you tonight. Yeah, this is hot in the midst. We didn't know where you at. It's north, northwest of Africa, made out of 10 okay. gorgeous islands. And it's basically a mixture of Portuguese and African. Yeah, so I came when I was eight and a half, New Bedford, Massachusetts. Now I live in Boston, Mass. Mm -hmm. And I'm rocking with you tonight in NYC. Exactly, hot in the midst. Now what, now what, now what they really want to know is now you done been all these places. Now what, what, what made you get into design? You could have got into music. You could have got into... E oh. Easy answer. Okay. okay, seventh grade, watching the Grammys when I came to America. And I was like... Those clothes, the stars are gorgeous, but then I was like, those clothes, how do I get on the red carpet with the best of the best, wearing the best of Casa de Angelina? Okay. So that's my goal. Okay, is that right? And uh, Nick, what do you got for her? First of all, you look gorgeous. <laughs> I love that. Um, Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Um, where do you find like most of your inspiration when you're designing or when you're coming up with your ideas or finding your models or? A hard question. Hello, Christian Dior, Chanel, baby. I could keep going, but you know, Dior, Chanel, bow down. What when you look for like in a model? What do you look for when you're for your line? Personality, because beauty fades away. <laughs> right. 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 So if you're hard for me to work with you, I ain't got time for that. You gotta be gorgeous, you gotta be talented. Don't say I'm a model. No, be a model. Okay. And give me the best photos ever, cause that's what I'm gonna post. And if you don't do a good job, I ain't posting or work working with you. So they gotta have a great personality. A personality. Gosh, uh, right. Uh, <laughs> right? Great, right. Gorgeous. Yeah. you gotta look GQ like this, but yeah, personality. You see his, right. <laughs> could we get, could we get <laughs> No, he's a little jealous. <laughs> he's a little jealous of my outfit. It's okay. I'll take you shopping. <laughs> I'll take him shopping. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I, I got you. I do custom ties for men. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got you. Okay. Well, let me get her real quick. <laughs> okay, now listen. <laughs> now, okay, now, now you talk about all all of this fashion and you you from here and there. Okay, now February Winter Fashion Week is coming up. What are you doing? Oh my God. Right. What? Nothing. 
You, <laughs> honey, I mean, in Massachusetts, I'm doing a lot. Okay, well, tell us. Let's talk about. Let's talk about New York. We in New York. Let's talk New York. Listen, New York. Can I please get up in the Fashion Week, though? <laughs> so that's my question, right? Oh, no, can you? I, I'm asking you. I'm trying to get up in that New York Fashion Week. I mean, I'm already Miss Massachusetts. Okay, that's I got that title home all day. Okay, so I'm, this is my focus. Seriously, moving forward, um, it's all about focusing on New York Fashion Week and networking and meeting wonderful people that I could create lifelong friendship with. Sounds good. Now tell tell everybody a fun fact about Angelina. <laughs> My freckles are real. Are they real? <laughs> <laughs> and also let everybody know where they can find you, social media. Casadi Angelina, at all of them. Okay. Yes, Casadi Angelina. And on my personal page is Style of Angelina, Instagram, and all of them. And thank you so much. Thank you. Tell them where we can find you. I need to know where I can <laughs> exactly. find you. Exactly. You can find us on <laughs> Flower Media TV. We are at FLY, um, what is it, FLY, <laughs> for, uh, uh, underscore ENT, E-N-T, 2012. Let me alone. Gotta watch it. Stay tuned. More to come. We got badass designers up in this house at Yotel, exactly. New York. So you got to stay tuned. You got to watch the, these two GQ. I exactly. Right now. Whatever. All right. <laughs> Y'all keep it a lot. So much more to come with me and your boy Z Fly and Nick. That's right. So much more to come. Run with it real way. Don't go anywhere at all. We got more to come. Hot in the mix. I'm here interviewing one of the amazing designers, Petula. Um, we see the beautiful. Tell me a little bit more about the beautiful design line. Well, beautiful, that's lowercase beauty and uppercase F U L L. It's a movement and it's a customized look or a feeling that varies throughout all individuals. Therefore, what I'm saying is, Everyone in the world is beautiful, and together we are hashtag beautiful. I love that. All your clothes looked amazing and super comfortable as well. How long have you been designing? I've been designing just a little under two years, and it's just t-shirts and sweatshirts. And what I did today in the show is to show everyone that you can dress no However you feel, the t-shirts are for all sizes, all shapes, all ethnicity, all nationality, and you just, you can wear it to on the red carpet, you can wear it to a ball, you can even wear it to the White House, you never know, because right. beautiful is all around the world. And you're beautiful, and all your clothes are beautiful, and we hope the best success for you. Thank you so much, and remember, we are hot in the mix. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no way. Now, right now, we have Miss Italy, USA, well, no, no, sorry, Miss Italia, USA beside me. Oh, my gosh. So, that, that's a big title. Tell us a little bit about how you got that. Very huge title. I was uh, Miss New Jersey, Italia, last year, and just about two weeks ago, yeah, la two Thursdays ago, I actually won the USA title. What this pageant represents is the Italian heritage. You have to be at least a quarter Italian to compete in the pageant, but they want true Italians, so... Follow me on the Italia Heritage Show. Okay, now are you a true Italian? I am a true Italian. My family was from Valva, Italy, which is part of uh, Naples, so in northern Italy. And uh, my name is Karen Russo, but it's Catalina Rosso in Italian. So. Okay, just making sure. Now I know last time you had a, a, a big job. You was you know um, looking for the host. You was like kind of the you know the coordinator. Not well, yeah, the coordinator of. I am the model casting coordinator for all the runway, the railway shows. We hold our shows here every third of the month. So come and join us. My name is Karen Russo. Well, excuse me. All right, well, let everybody know real quick. <laughs> what are we going to see today on the runway? Oh, my God. So we have beautiful, beautiful models here today. We have three wonderful designers. I believe we have, um, is it beauty? Beautiful. Beautiful. And then I believe we have... I, 
I'm gonna hope I say this right, out of the closet, and there's one more amazing designer. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce the name, but okay. the show's gonna be amazing. The models are beautiful, they're in the makeup room. There's people walking around with wings that I designed as well, some crown designs from Karen Russo, but come and check it out, guys. It's amazing, check us out next time. All right, sounds good to me. Now, everybody, now I'll show everybody your um, tiara real quick. Go ahead on. Uh huh. Don't be scared. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, Alec, like, Alec, like you're the queen of the runway, the real way. <laughs> Y'all keep it locked. We have so much more to come. Coming up next. Bam. <laughs> We are here with Vinnie Vintage, one of the designers for the show. Um, tell us a little bit about your brand and your style and everything. Okay, well, my style is really like, we're going to say like a good funky soul mixed with a super fly. You know what I mean? So everything that I do, I try to add a little bit of funk and, and sexy to it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this look is just inspired by more of a, a hippie soul brother type look. You know, and um, when I grab my models, Today we were able to we were able to put a, a suit together. This is a nice tux here, nice tux that we have, and um, with the polo sweater, you know. And uh, as you can see, this guy he, he pulled it off very well. Simple, but sexy. And then we got and then we got my, and then we got my man right here. He's um he's got his overcoat with the uh we, we got we got this kind of an open turtleneck. You know, this is the H and M special right here. Okay. You know, one person's trash is another person's treasure. That's Vinnie Vintage line right there. And then I got my man right here. It was we wanted to do something just real simple and sexy. You know, I didn't really want to. He had a nice chest, so I said, you know what? Let's, let's let's throw the chest out, man. And everybody else was covering him up. Everybody else was covering him up. I was like, hey, man, this guy wants to show some skin. Yeah. Let him show some skin, and he did it very well, man. And you can also zip it up if you want to. So it's a very multi versatile outfit, man. So, and this was just the tip of the iceberg. Okay. You should have seen the ladies, man. Right. Unfortunately, <laughs> they're being reused, but right. I wish I could have showed you everything. And then you could have really got a grasp of what Vinny Vintage, the Thrifting Tycoon, is all about. Well, we love it. It looks super amazing. Uh, maybe Z Fly has some questions. Let me see. Okay, so now I see that now. Now, now do you only do a men's line or women or what do you do? I do, I do, the, I do, I do, do it all, man. Hey, look, I don't, look, I don't discriminate. You know what I'm saying? I got love for everybody, man. Peace, love, and happiness. But the ladies were being reused by the other, you know, because we, you know, it's when in a situation like this, you got a lot of, you got less models and more designers in the situation. So they were being reused. I wish, you know, you give me like 30 minutes, we can round up everybody. We can do this again. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to see the women's looks. Not the women's look. The, oh, the, the, the women, oh, electrifying. <laughs> Blow your mind away, man. You wouldn't, you'd be shaking right now looking at them, man. Shaking my boots. your whole life around. <laughs> Okay, now look, now look now. Everybody, you know, like they're really, in, you know, they're interested in you. Now you have like a little accent. Like, where are you from? What's going on? I'm actually from Maryland. From the uh, yeah, from the DMV, the DC area, Southern Maryland to be exact. Waldorf, C Town. You ain't from you. are not from the Caribbean. No, 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 man. I'm, hey, look, man. I'm 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 indigenous of this country right here, man. This is my homeland right here. You know what I'm saying? So, as a as a, as a man who just is is in love with with peace and harmony and everybody around him, man. I, 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 every, it don't matter where you're from, you know, I treat you with the utmost respect, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm about. I'm about peace and love. Okay, sounds good. Okay, now how would you actually describe your line? Now we see a dinner jacket, we see a trench coat, and we see a man throwing some skin. So like, what is like, you know, like actually the, I guess the design of your, of your line? Okay, well, the design is 
taking one person's trash and turning it into another person's treasure. Yeah, so that's what this pretty much is. And, and, and I look at the models and I see what they, well, you know, I see their style, their swag. All these brothers are unique in their own, in their own specific ways, man. They're individuals. So I just looked at them, I said, let me see what I can put on them, man, and see what, they, and, and see what would exude their natural energy and their natural aura. So when it, comes to, when it comes to my style, man, I really just look at, when I, go, when I go to the thrift store, man, it's just something that has to jump out to me, man. I'll spend an hour in the thrift store finding about 10, 15 pieces, man, just because I, I just can see it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Matrix. You know, make sure you see the little numbers. Yeah, I, I see the numbers, and I'm just like, okay, this is it. This is it. You know, something's glowing. You know what I mean? So, you know, when it, when it, when it really comes to it, anything goes in my style. I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate. You know, if, if, if someone looks good in it, I'll put them in it. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I roll. And same with me. If I, if I look good in it, I'll, 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 I'll hop in it. I, 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 look, I don't, I, don't, I don't put any measures over me. I don't put any type of boundaries on my style. I love it. Okay, so we're cutting now. Now the models. Now, how do you feel wearing, um, what is it, Vinny? Vinny Vintage. How do you How do you feel wearing a Vinny a, a Vinny Vintage um ensemble? Well, to be honest, my style, even without Vinny Vintage, is vintage. So when he told me that we were gonna model for a vintage like company, almost, yeah, I was like, yes, because I love vintage stuff. And this outfit, the outfit I had before, I loved it. I love that turtleneck, and this outfit right now, it's kind of out of my comfort zone. Okay. But listen, man. I love it. Doesn't matter. I can't tell. How about you, <laughs> Vinny Vintage? I mean, I absolutely loved wearing this line. I mean, rocking it with the sweater, with I mean the coat. I, I mean, it just—it's very fall. It's very winter, you know. And and I really feel honored wearing his stuff because fashion is about expressing yourself. Vinny Vintage does that and so much more. Give me this jacket. Give me here. Give me here. <laughs> How about you? I mean, I met Vinny Vintage a while ago. Um, Definitely when I first saw him, I just his style was the first thing that stood out to me. Like from the shoes to the top to the pants. So then when I was told, well, invited to do this show, told that I was going to be walking for him, I was like, oh, I already know it's going to be fly, so I just got to, you know, make whatever he picks on me work. Because, like, the tux or whatever, I love it. I love it. The sweater, yeah, definitely love it. So you going to buy it. It's already yeah. sold. It's already sold. To this How much is it? $20? Uh, that's all? Yeah. Twenty dollar. Cocktail. You know, you got a cocktail party. A oh, cocktail. Party. You got a sweet date to go on now. Oh, y'all doing a bit. Yeah, gotta do it. He good. Nick, Nick, definitely get these um the uh, information for this. This social media for this guy. We need that. Right. Tell us everything. Your Instagram, Twitter, Instagram Facebook. Is, uh, Vinny Vintage Style. And that's clear across the board. Vinny Vintage Style is my Instagram. The the actual Facebook is Devin That Dude Finley. I ain't really on it that much no more. I'm, I'm really just on Instagram, man. So Vinny Vintage Style and the website, Vinny Vintage Style. I love that. Is there anyone you want to shout out or give thanks to? Or? Shout out, uh, Kat. Kat, thank you uh, for Runway the Real Way. Thank you for having me. You know, she really, she really gave me the opportunity to express myself. And uh, I thank her very much, man. Peace and love. I love her. We love your line, and we hope to see more of it. Oh, you will. You will. The Twist and Tycoon, baby. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank, oh, thank you out of the closet for letting me use your clothes to style these models. I really appreciate Out of the Closet as well. Thank Amazing. you. Congrats. Yes. Hey everyone, it's Nick with Hot in the Mix. I'm here with uh, some amazing designers and model. Um, so tell us a little bit about your brand and your name and everything. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Tashi Couture. I'm a fashion designer out of New Jersey. What I do basically is high fashion uh, couture wear, one of a kind individual fashions. So nothing is repeated or duplicated. And the look is just very high fashion and very chic. We love that. You look gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind her look. Well, you know, uh, I wanted to go for the color green this season because it's a holiday, it's festive. Everyone loves green. Um, and a lot of people also have a problem with the color. They're not sure if it works for them, don't. Right. So we want to just kind of show you that there are variations of greens that you can mix together, come up with a fabulous look, and just went for a very edgy, fash high fashion, red carpet kind of effect. Well, you look amazing, and we love your designs. Tell us a little bit about this jacket. It looks comfy, it's gorgeous, we love it. We all want one. <laughs> fun, so fun. Um, actually, I was shopping for fabric, and I saw this in the faux fur section, and I was just like, that is so unique and so different. So I just told the lady, give me a couple of yards, and went for it, and out of nowhere, I just came up with the vest and hoodie kind of thing. So I, I went for vest and hoodie because it's urban, it's comfortable, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, um, you could make it look very casual jeans or you could actually wear with a suit jacket and still make it look high fashion yeah we love it so how do we find you what's your social media instagram facebook twitter Absolutely. 
uh, social media, Facebook, Tashi Couture, uh, as well as Instagram at Tashi Couture. Awesome. And how do you feel how the, how the runway show went? Um, I thought the runway show went amazing. I have been working with Catherine Schuler, who put on the whole production for about four months now. So I'm her brand ambassador um, for Runway the Real Way. Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, and we loved and watching and enjoying, and hope you had a good time. We did definitely, and good luck on the rest of your Merry Christmas, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. What's well, everybody? It's your guy Z Fly, and I'm still at the hotel, the Yotel Hotel, right. Runway the Real Way. Right now, I got some guests. Now, this is their first time ever at the Runway the Real Way. But look, 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 we got some double mint twins right now. How are y'all doing today? Fantastic. How are you? We are doing wonderful. This was an amazing event. It oh rocks. God. It was so fantastic. We loved everything. And we will be back. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Now you love everything, but like, but now what is one specific thing that like you loved about it? Oh my gosh, that it gave an opportunity for a lot of people who have designs to get out there and show their creations, and that they make them for different people of different races, color, creed, age, gender, sex, the whole nine yards. Yeah. And so. Exactly, you just said exactly yeah. everything I would have said <laughs> and more. Yeah, I mean, it was wonderful to see all of the sizes, all of the rainbows together, just doing something for an amazing cause. So it was fantastic. We loved it, and we will absolutely come back again. I was kind of jealous because, like, y'all like, over there doing Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, like, my thing is, how do y'all even hear about Runway the Real at the Yotel? Well, we are in New York because we're going to uh, a couple of talk shows, um, the Harry oh. Show. Uh -huh. And then also live with Kelly and Ryan. Yes, we are. So we'll be doing those things. We sing, and so New York has just been something that we've always wanted to come in. Sing? We sing. So, of course, you already know. Let's hear a little bit of bars. A little bars. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is a new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. <laughs> so I'm Nick. Did y'all plan this? today? <laughs> yes. We are twinning it out our entire time in New York, so we we'll be here till Tuesday. We're so Irish twins, so uh, you know, it's a little Irish. different than, yes, we're Irish twins. So we're less than a year apart with the same parents, and uh, we just, yeah, siblings with the same parents yeah. less than a year apart, so we're exactly Irish 10 twins. months. Yeah. Amazing. So where are you guys originally from? We're from Tampa, Florida. Oh, wow. yeah. Woo, woo, woo. yeah. And where do you find most of your inspiration when you're designing or... Well, we don't uh, really do designing. We do uh, as far as singing or what have yeah. you, but okay. we're inspired by people who do things for other people that are going to benefit them. Like our name that we sing by is called Vision of Harmony. So it's I'm Angela. Same. Yes, Valencia. Yeah. But Vision of Harmony is our vision of seeing all people live together in harmony regardless of their race, creed, age, gender, sex, so color. So when we saw this fashion show and it was the same... Um, that vision, that message, that we had, yes. It was just perfect. So perfect. we wanted yeah. to be and here we're staying and here at the hotel. So we yeah. were on our way out to kind of tour the city yeah. and heard the music and everything. And, and just it walked right on in. And yeah. it was like great timing. It's awesome. I need to roll with y'all. I need to be with y'all. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely. Well, well, you know what? Y'all are very unique. Y'all are very popular, obviously. Aww, Let everybody you. know where they can find you. Any social media on social media? Definitely. You can go to Facebook.com Vision of Harmony yes. or Facebook.com Angela, Angela and, Valencia. and Valencia. And you can also find us on YouTube under Vision of Harmony. We have videos out there. All right. yeah. We'll definitely be looking you guys up and watching your videos. And congrats and good luck on the rest of your endeavors in New York. <laughs> Looking fly. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm your guy, Z Fly, and I'm still at the runway, the real way. That's right, at the Yotel Hotel, and no other than Manhattan, New York City. I got some very VIP people right beside me. I got Mr. Preston. Y'all y'all know him as the Small Boutique Fashion Week. He does it in New York City. He's on went down to Atlanta. And then I got his publicist. But, but hold on. 
She's not only his publicist, honey, she, she is a Jane of all trades. We're going to find out more about him and her right now. Mr. Preston, how you doing? I'm fine. Oh, you're just fine? I'm okay. <laughs> Let me go to her first. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing well, thank you. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you do for him and also for yourself. Well, well, let me start by myself first, okay? Since he doesn't want to talk about him. <laughs> um, I'm the CEO of La Bella Diva Enterprises, which is a boutique fashion, um, not, not just fashion, but uh, public relations firm. And I'm also the uh, CEO of for Fashion in the Fast Lane, where I'm the editor-in-chief of a global fashion magazine and the executive producer of two TV shows, and as well as, um, what else am I? I do quite, quite a few things <laughs> for Fashion in the Fast Lane. Yes, and, and um, you know, I'm not, I want to say that I'm a Jane of all trades, honey. I do master what I do, all my crafts, yes. I am a master at what I do. Confident. Oh, yes. Oh, that's why they call me Miss Diva Daz. Now look, okay, now look. <laughs> okay, now you're doing all this stuff. Now, New York City Fashion Week, winter Fashion Week is, is coming up. What do you got going on? I am taking a vacation. It is Christmas, and I'm going to drink some eggnog, yes. Yes. Because we worked so hard during the year, you know, between the magazine, between uh, all my celebrity clients, um, my designer that pr presented here. I, you know, it's a lot of running around. So I tried to up out of the uh, Winter Fashion Week. I will be doing uh, Fashion Week in February. That sounds good. Okay, now you say runway to railway. How do you get involved with this? Well, I know Catherine. I've known Catherine for umpteen years. We used to model together. And uh, we ran the same gamut when we were modeling, and we were involved in a lot of magazines, from Emmy to Sharon Quinn, Gwen DeVoe. Uh, we were all like the pioneers for the plus-size uh, modeling industry, and that's how I've known Catherine for many, many, many years. Really good. Now, one thing that now one person that, that I do admire is Preston. He does small boutique fashion week every year. He does a big event. Preston, please let them know what's coming up for February. Well, we're showing Sunday, February 11th. We're back at Studio 450. Um, Studio 450 is a two-floor lounge. We've been showing there. This will be our third season showing there. Um, actually, this is our 13th season and uh, sixth year, so we're having a big uh, celebration during during the event. Okay. So now, what can we, you know, Lola, what, 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 what can people expect to see this season for New York, New York City Fashion Week? Well, uh, we always do a large show, about 60 brands, 12, 4, 8 o'clock. Um, each show is about 15 to 20 designers. This year, since it is the six-year anniversary, we're having a wine and beer bar um, so people can celebrate. We're extending our hours, um, and we have a lot of national and international designers um, thanks to our uh, PR person, La Bella Diva. Okay. Now, listen, don't think that he's just here in New York. Uh, he, don't, he don't travel down to the south, to the dirty south. Tell us about Atlanta. <laughs> We've been in Atlanta for the past three years. Uh, we do it every end of July. Um, Atlanta is, is an amazing uh, place to be. Um, for one, there's a lot of talent down there. Um, also, I love the venues. They always have extremely large venues, nice spaces. We actually show at the Freight Depot, which is one of uh, the, the oldest buildings in Atlanta. Um, it, it was the first train station built in the 1800s. Um, and it is the longest runway um, in Atlanta at 1,000 feet. Um, so we've, we're down there, we're breaking records, we're bringing uh, New York fashion to the South. Now, Miss Diva, everybody, now everybody needs to know, how did you and Preston become involved? How y'all come start working together? Believe it or not, Preston knew about me before I knew about him. That's a lot. <laughs> no. That's a lot. no, because we went to a casting and Preston came up to me and said, I want to work with you. And I said, I would love to work with you. But at the time, I really didn't know who Preston was. And then when he said his company, I said, ah, oh, yes. And I, I kind of had my eyeball, you know, on the the show. I'd never gone to a show because I was always doing other shows. So I never got a chance to go to a show. But we met at a casting and it's just been bliss. And I mean bliss ever since. 
I love it. I love working with Preston. He has a great business sense. And just from the time that I have been working with him, he has grown this show exponentially. And, you know, to get um, so much respect from Forbes, you know, magazine and CNN and Vogue and Harper's Bazaar and you know, all the major networks, you know, he has, they have so much respect for this show. I mean, they're always in his audience. Yeah. You, every year there's a Vogue, there's, you know, Vogue IT or Harper's Bazaar. Some major person is in the audience yeah. and from celebrities. And, you know, for an independent fashion week, um, I think that's pretty amazing because usually you see them at the big shows, like the tents, where they're really called the tents now, but the shows now. Um, but no, they, they're at Small Boutique Fashion Week because he has truly made a name in this industry. And I'm I'm proud of him and I'm glad to be a part of it. That sounds amazing. I'm proud too now. Now Preston now, usually I will close out right now, but before I do, whenever you hear her say like these big names and then you think of this is your show, this is your baby, you got Forbes, you got all these big names at your show, please, and then, and then you think of how you started out, please tell me like what does that do to you? Well for one, it's not my show. <laughs> It's the designers who participate show. And I, I think that um, what I do is I try to make it. Actually, when I met her, the reason why she knew about my brand before she knew me is because I honestly, up until about maybe, what would you say, like the ninth season, nobody knew that I ran the show because I was so busy promoting the brand and promoting the brands that participate. Um, that you know that that's what people knew and then they would meet me and they would say oh you're the owner of the show so um i think that's why we're so successful because one i don't like being in front of the camera <laughs> um i don't like I, I just did this interview for you but i don't like being in front of the camera and when i'm at the show i'm selfless because it's it's not I don't consider it my show. Um, I, I consider it my designer show. I throw the show, but it's it wouldn't be anything without the designers. And it's their work who really, you know, them choosing the show there at this platform is what got those people there. So I don't take credit for anything. I, I, I give all my credit to the designers and I don't want any credit. I've, I've, I would feel comfortable and I could die knowing that I got designers in stores and I've started their career and uh, you know that's that's my mantra so that's really humble okay that's cool all right well let, let everybody know where they can find you how they can get involved with small boutique fashion week well you can follow follow small boutique fashion week on Instagram at the real s as in Sam B as in boy fashion week the real SB fashion week um, Twitter is SB Fashion Week. Uh, the website is smallboutiquefw.com. There you can look at runway videos dating back to like 2012. You can look at all of our interviews from SBFW TV, um, all of our press. You can register for the show. Um, and you can Google Small Boutique Fashion Week or hashtag Small Boutique Fashion Week on Instagram. We have about 22,000 uh, posts from the past six years of, of shows. Um, so, yeah, we have a big archive. And I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> How can people find you? <laughs> well, you can find me, um, uh, La Bella Diva. <laughs> <laughs> I was pushed by the way, right? <laughs> you can find me at labelladiva.com. Uh, it's my website. Or you can find me at Miss Diva Daz on Instagram, Labella Diva on Instagram, Miss Diva Daz on Instagram, Fashion and Fastlane on Instagram. I have like about six. Or you can just. just you can find her at Small Boutique Fashion Week, kicking people out of the front row who didn't have a VIP ticket. That's her job. You think you are that, don't you? Oh, oh, I'm very good at that. <laughs> no shame in my game. If you not, if you did not pay for your ticket, do not, and you did not pay for front row, do not sit in front row. Cut. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I'm your guys, Defy. This is how you do runway the real way at the Yota Hotel. Keep it loud. We got so much more to come. These stuff are great people. They are crazy. Okay, don't go anywhere. We got more to come. <laughs>
everybody. Right now, I have a designer from the runway to railway with me. Her name is Miss Ray Molly, and she's looking very flashy and classy and fly with her Prada frames on right now. How are you doing, Miss Miss Ray Molly? I'm good, very well, thank you. We saw your line on the runway to railway. Now, tell us first of all, how do you get involved with runway to railway? Um, I met Catherine, who's the founder of Runway the Railway, at one of the events, um, and she saw one of the pieces that I was showcasing at another event. Uh, it was a jumpsuit. She fell in love with it, and then I got a call from her asking me that uh, the model that who wore the uh, who wore the jumpsuit, I'm in love with that, but I'm not sure if you can make it in my size. And I said, "That's your size," okay. and she just loved the fact that I was able to convince her that I can make that same jumpsuit for her and uh, I'm sure you saw that she was wearing a blue jumpsuit today along with the model who was walking in a size 2 so we pulled it off on in size 16 for Catherine and uh, that's how we met and I and I think we we made a good um, uh, duo together in this show as well I like, it. I like your style too for the, you know look at the, I mean look at this look at oh no no show them and your red frames, oh, you're, 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 you are something else. Now, one thing that I love about, uh, love about designers is, you know, like what makes you pick what you pick to show your line? You know, like there's different, like there's silk, there's satin, there's polyester. Like what makes you pick the right fabric for your line? Well, uh, especially for this event, I think this is uh, holiday season. It's Christmas time and I showcase a lot of red uh, brocades, uh, embroideries, uh, pieces that have a uh, bling in them people that people would love to wear that during the holiday season or to christmas parties or to new years so that was the main thing in my mind when i put those 15 pieces together is to bring like a holiday mode uh in front of people well speaking of new year's every time i every time i look at nick i think of new year's outfit so what do you got nick <laughs> so amazing job we love your stuff would you say red is your favorite color right now for fabric or just in general I am so happy to hear that because red is my color really? it, yes it is my color I think whenever I look at something red uh, or even if I go to uh, look at the new fabrics in the market the anything that's in red catches my attention right away whether it's wools whether it's brocades whether it's silk whether it's uh, scubas anything I, I think red is something which is very very catchy to me and I and I have made different outfits uh, from ready to wear to couture uh, a lot with, uh, using a lot of red in, in different fabrications and they came out really nice red is also my favorite so we're good on that <laughs> Um, where do we find you on social media? We want to follow you and keep up with the latest trends and all of your newest designs and everything. So your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, website. My website is uh, raymali.com, R-E-M-A-L-H-I.com. And same as my Instagram, raymali. You can also find me on Facebook under the same name. Um, and you can place your orders also or send your inquiries through my website. Well, thank you so much and congrats. And we love everything you did. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you. And everybody, be sure to check us out on, on our YouTube page where you can find interviews like this and so much more at youtube.com forward slash real hot fresh. I'm your guy Z Fly with my boy Nick. And remember, stay fly, not high. Bye bye. <laughs>